I've always been obsessed with hair since I was a little kid. And I grew mm-hmm. up in a Mormon family. I went to college and like halfway through college, I was like, I really want to do hair, but I'm so afraid to tell my parents. And so what I ended up telling my parents, I come from a big Mormon family. And basically me telling my parents I wanted to drop out of college and go to beauty school was like coming out of the closet. Because they're like, wait, yeah. okay, then? you know, so I was so <laughs> yeah. nervous about all that. But I was so obsessed with hair that I think that once I ended up doing it and I was I was so into it, it was just it was just a matter of time before celebrities started coming to me because I, I was really good at it because I love it. So right. Much. Right. Um, that started happening. And then I can say like I think once I start doing somebody like Jennifer Aniston, then all of a sudden a lot of celebrities start coming in, right? Because everybody wants Jennifer Aniston's hair. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. But then there was a whole point too where I started doing like everyone that came off The Bachelor. The minute anybody would come off of The Bachelor, all of a sudden they'd be in my chair. But that was more like um, a lot of my team from BPU would reach out to them and say, hey, Justin, wants yes. to work with you. Or, or vice versa, they would reach out and I'd bring them in. And to be honest, like I'm a huge fan of reality TV. So like my, to me, real celebrities are reality TV stars. Like I love yes. them. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Like, I got way more excited about that. Like give me like a Caitlin Bristow over, well, Jennifer Aniston, Caitlin Bristow, maybe they're on the same. Yeah, Jennifer Aniston, you can't really get much bigger. You can't get much bigger Jennifer than Aniston that. also oh. loves The Bachelor, by the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, we talk about it all the time. It's so funny because when I would do Bachelor people and I would post it to social media, Jennifer Aniston, this isn't giving away any secrets, but the next time I would see her, she's like, wait, did you just meet so-and-so? Like we were talking no. about No. <laughs> definitely a fan. I will admit that a few times I got invited to go over to Jennifer Aniston's house to watch The Bachelor. <gasps> oh. Is that a secret? I hope it's not. I know That's you- not a no, secret. Right? No. Right. She, she talks about it. She's talked yeah. about it before. Yeah. Okay. She's talked about it. She likes it. The mm-hmm. fact I mean, that there's a chance that she knows who I am is good. <laughs> That's all I need. That's all I need. By the way, say. by the um, way, that that brings me to my next thing. Joe definitely slid into her DMs and was like, "Hey, I have a podcast. Would you would you want to come on our podcast?" Oh, I she love didn't it. Yeah, and she didn't, even res- do it. she didn't even respond. But whatever. I, She's I a busy woman. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about the rejection. Uh, I want to go back. Can I go back to um, when you did come out to your parents? How did they handle it? I have a two part question. When you came out to your parents, how did they handle it? And when you started in here, did you ever imagine you were going to be as big as you are? Um, when I came out to my parents, they were pretty good. You know, like I said, I come from a religious background, Mormon. Um, mm-hmm. But my parents themselves were really great. I remember my dad, he's a big, strong guy, gave me a big hug. He's like, Justin, you have to be yourself. If anyone doesn't understand, it's just going to take them a little bit more time. But don't even worry about that. So I had yes. a really great coming out experience. And That's then amazing. going into hair, to be honest, yeah, I knew I would be good at it. I've always had like a lot of confidence right. because I'm a very realistic person, you know, like I feel like I know when I'm good at something, mm-hmm. I admit when I'm not. And um, I did. I said, if I'm going to do hair, I'm going to be the best. I told my parents when they got mad about me going to beauty school, I'm like, I'm going to do so many celebrities. I'm going to have my own hair care line. I'm going to prove you guys wrong. And then look where I am now. You know? I, just, I mean, look, look at where you are now. into existence. I love that. I'm living for that. And, and that is amazing. 